We live in a time of huge hype around the world of AI, artificial intelligence. AI is the new buzzword which is popping up everywhere in every single industry. We have AI made photos, AI made art, AI power chatbots, games, it's absolutely everywhere. And there are already plenty of applications using AI in the auto industry as well. But what if an AI could generate drum samples for you? Today we explore Maze by TensorPunk, an AI powered generative sampler. There it is. Uh, from what I understand, they trained an AI with a bunch, and when I say a bunch, I would imagine a lot of drum samples so that it can now generate new ones for, for you at the push of a button. Let's click on Get Early Access, and at $19.99, you get the Early Access Library, which I guess implies that you'll get more models in the future. Let's see how it works. The Early Access Library includes 16 different models, which you can uh, simply drag and drop into empty cells. They have basics like kicks and snares and hi-hats, but also more interesting things like vocal chops and foley shots. Uh, once you have a bunch of models loaded in, uh, you can regenerate and it generates new sample for each cell. By right-clicking on a specific cell, you can lock them and then by clicking on plus, you can regenerate new samples uh, for uh, all of the uh, selected lanes, but the locked one will stay in place. Cool thing about this is that once you have a kit that you like, you can obviously save it, but uh, even cooler, you can drag and drop samples in your, uh, in your session, or you can batch export them. So for example, if I make a folder called my kit, and then I call this Alessandro's kit or something like that, then I can save it. And then on my desktop, I have my 16 samples and I would imagine some of them will be empty because I have no load of cells in. So this is pretty cool because I can really see myself uh, doing a bunch of samples and uh, loading them in in a battery or an Ableton sampler or at the modular on my Bitbox uh, micro. I think it's pretty cool. Let's have a listen at a simple loop and let's try to change some samples. Obviously, it's a bit limited in the way that it sounds, but I think that there is a ton of potential and I can't wait for more models to be released and to see how this thing evolves. I think it's already quite cool though and uh, usable. It's nice that you can already select the sample start point as well as having a pretty basic ADSR envelope. There is a low pass filter and a high pass filter. Some basic panning. And uh, it's nice that you have the separate routing of the 16 different cells, which is pretty essential if you want to process it with any sort of different effects, uh, because this thing doesn't have a compressor, doesn't have effects, it's still uh, pretty raw and an early uh, stage, of course. 
I'm really looking forward to see how this thing develop. Obviously, there are a number of things that we could suggest as possible features. At the moment, it's quite limited, but I think there are uh, two things that uh, are slightly annoying and I think should be addressed fairly easily. So I'm going to suggest them uh, right away. The very first thing that I think is super important is please TensorPunk team, include an undo button. It happened a bunch of times that I ran into the perfect sample on something that I wanted to manipulate further. And then by mistake, I clicked on regenerate again, or I didn't have the uh, cell uh, locked and that was gone forever. I couldn't find a way to revert to the previous selection. I think this is a basic feature that should be included right away. The second thing I want to mention is that I can't quite work out what's the reasoning behind the uh, models label kit. So we have a techno kit and we have an electro kit. So while the other models uh, seems to be modeled uh, after a specific kind of percussion, uh, these kits seem to have a bunch of stuff in them. So now it's an interesting uh, SFX. If I regenerate it, now it's a kick drum. And if I regenerate again, now it could be an interesting uh, snare or something like that. Uh, while this is cool uh, in doing a bunch of samples if you're just experimenting and exporting them, I think it's really confusing when you have a sequence uh, ready to go and you maybe have a four on the floor uh, kick drum and you want to try different samples. If you regenerate that specific one, you might have a snare drum in the place where you previously sequenced a kick drum, which is really confusing, although obviously can lead uh, to interesting results. That said, I really enjoyed having a look at Maze. I think it's a really cool application of AI into music production. And best of luck to the TensorPunk team in uh, the development uh, of this software. I'm really looking forward to seeing what comes next for them. Thank you so much for watching. One of those is always appreciated. Please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.